we are done eating our lunch and I am not finished planting the gumamela yet because uh, I prefer to finish my laundry to do my laundry after coffee time this morning and um, now we are done lunch and Christian continue again um, for the post he, he is now mixing concrete and um, putting uh, po uh, I mean cement concrete concrete cement on the post <laughs> I waved uh, him and he waved back. <laughs> I asked him if I, if he needs my help, but he said no. Uh, so I w I will continue planting gumamela. Me and Christian, we are so happy to that um Ati Marshana gave us a this kind of gumamela because we are always looking f to find another colors. And I think this one is red but different type also. I hope they will survive. I will tell you guys some tips on how to to plant to have a higher chance of surviving. And because some of these types are uh, really sensitive. So I have already planted another one more and <clears throat> so what what I did is I scratched the the skin of this before um putting it into the soil that's what Christian told me so the roots can grow faster and also after that but first first you need to remove the the leaves also from this side until to to the part where you will put into the soil and after that it is very important to to press very tight on the bottom of the soil so it will not it will not 
why because um it's very important that the the branch has a stable um bottom so the especially now it's a, a little bit windy sometimes so if it's not um pressed here or if the soil is loose um the the branch can can torn or can move and um there's possibility that the growing roots will be broken and um also it is better to put a, a small stick and to tie with a straw or a rope to really really to secure and yeah but um this is the tips that i've learned from christian and of course you need to water it after planting all of our gumamelas here in the farm is is coming from one very small uh, branch that christian got from the um beside the road when we were still in panglao it's just a very small branch and um so it survived and after that um he all he he produced more from this one uh gumamela plant and now we have plenty uh, of this type of gumamela and they all stay on the pot before when we were still in the rented house in panglao and even in tagbilaran and we also we also um, planted um, some on the in the house in Tagbilaran, and I'm sure now they are bigger also, like uh, like the one here on the farm. And finally, I am finished planting all the gomamela branches, so I hope they will, all of them will grow. Um, I think I have 62 pots. <laughs> it's so much. Yeah, but um it's so happy to to have these types of gomamela with different colors. So I hope I really hope that they will grow. We will see later and I will give you an update um how much of these pots that I planted will survive and um especially we um we get um rain sometimes so um i hope i really hope that we can get um s different colors of gomamela someday the good thing about uh gomamela is that you don't need to replace you just have to prone or you just um if you don't like it to grow very high or very tall you just need to prone it and um you don't have to replace you just have to take care and then they give flowers uh all the time especially if you apply fertilizer also and uh, yeah so thank you so much for watching everyone um actually i have we ha i have here another the old our old type of gumamela uh we have also here new uh, new branches growing in the pots they grow very nice now and they are very stable already so one day we need to transfer to the soil yes yeah, so thank you so much and um thank you for watching about uh, what I am doing or um, all the even though it's all about farming and uh, but I hope you guys also get some ideas and uh, knowledge about farming and simple living yeah thank you so much and uh, have a nice day get bless us all